Good morning, YouTube. I'm out of loves over here in Texas. It's wrist, a little bit rainy, misting. I don't know. But I got here uh, this nice uh, F250 Power Stroke. It's a uh, I think 2017, 2018 Platinum. Really nice truck, and then I got this nice 2021 Chevy uh, Silverado. It's another 2500. The diesel, the Alton Trans. This one's going to uh, an actual an enterprise, I believe. So, and uh, I said I was going to give you guys the scale ticket for it. So the scale ticket for this load is we have. Come on, focus. Let's go inside. So uh, we don't get the wind. Right, the skill ticket for this ticket is, there we go. Come on, 30,700 pounds. So my steer is 55, 53, 80. Axles, 82, 60. And trailers, 1706. So we got a nice heavy load. If you recall when I did uh, just the trailer empty, I had a uh, 15,240, which was the same situation as now. The trailer was empty when I scaled. I had actually no gas in the truck or the reserve. So then if you figure, if I fill up, it went up to 15,980. So, so on this ticket that I have 30,700, you're gonna have to add some more, I think it's another 540 on top of the rear axles so i'm still good on the rear axles that was my biggest concern i made sure i parked it backwards so that uh i was uh in a good spot uh with it because i didn't want i was afraid that my rear axles were going to be overweight because you could only have 9750 but that's pretty much it guys uh <laughs> I'm about an hour, an hour away from New Mexico, which I should be crossing the border over there, uh, paying my taxes. And uh, if the station's open, I don't know, because I'm coming uh, between uh, 176 over here, and there's nothing but, as you can see, this big tanker that I just passed by. Not but tankers I pass around here. I guess I'm just driving in oil fields. Uh, it's pretty uh, dark last night, so I wasn't sure, couldn't see anything, and it's dark right now early in the morning it is i calculated it's around 5 30 right now so 5 30 here the place they said they open up at six so it's about a two hour drive so 5 30 i get there 7 30 and since it's an hour time change i get back an hour so i actually i'll be there 6 30 so uh definitely you need to make sure you figure out your time zone calculations because uh, it could either help you or hurt you. So when I'm coming back to the East Coast uh, in a few days, I definitely need to put that into my calculations uh, for what I'm gonna be de delivering. But other than that, guys, I'll uh, need to hit the road over here and I'll catch you guys later.